what is help happening right now, Aquarius. Uh, I'm not even going to stop and re-record, you guys. Um, you know what? I'm a real person. And um, anyway, welcome to the channel. Uh, forgive my blunder. I'm just going to carry on. So I'm going to stop talking about that, guys. Welcome to the channel. It's Robin here, and this is my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. I'm getting ready to do a little bonus reading for the month of September. Um, really just want to introduce my new deck. I've been shopping for a new deck for quite some time. And, you know, I'm picky about my decks. I think all tarot card readers are. So I finally found this one that I just fell in love with. And I opened the box yesterday and I'm doing bonus reads because I just added the good tarot to my range of tarot card decks and I thought it would be nice to give you guys a little mini read bonus reading so I hope you enjoy it but you know remember guys that this is a general read hopefully resonates for you however if it doesn't um you know that's all right it's okay um and hopefully you'll take something away from the video if not feel free to check me back another time or um you know, any other great tarot card reader on YouTube might be able to connect with you for this round. Anyway, I'm going to shuffle a couple more times and maybe while you're, while I'm doing that, you guys could, you know, you could like, share and subscribe. You might want to wait until the end of the video to share and, you know, you can comment away. Let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know what you think of the reading. I'm almost done shuffling. This is a huge deck. Tough for me to shuffle. I'm gonna do one more. I'm just gonna pull a few cards because this is like a, a bonus read, like I've said like a gazillion times already. All right, so I'm gonna do a deck cut. I'm gonna show you guys the card first. I'm not even gonna look at it. So let's see what's going on. I lied, I looked at it, I couldn't help myself. So what card have we got here? Ace of Fire like smashing, smashing artwork. Beautiful, unbelievable. This card is like talking to me nonstop. I'm just seeing some sort of new introduction into your life. And for some reason, uh, it could be the pumpkin, um, you know, something by Halloween, something new coming in for you guys. So fire, you guys, it's the wands. If you're used to a more traditional tarot card deck and you're used to seeing the wand coming in, um, you know, you've got something really exciting about to kick into your life. And um, yeah, amazing. So I'm gonna keep pulling cards and I'm gonna keep the camera up here, you guys, because um, just for the first time doing this reading, I really just wanna get into Staying with the camera and talking these cards out because it's brand new deck and all of that. So let's see what is happening here. So I I picked two cards. Okay, so we've got the two of water and the nine of air came out. So the two of water it would be like two of cups. And the nine of air would be the nine of swords, right? So, but it, it's just so much prettier, you know, the nine of air. Like if you're used to traditional tarot, nine of air would be nine of swords. And it would be that, you know, swords hanging over that unsuspecting, stressed out woman trying to sleep. But here it's like, Okay, yeah, everything's cool. There's there's things sort of going on around me, but I can totally handle this, you know? And the character in the card appears to be an angel, and I'm really just seeing this more of an earth angel and knowing that there's somebody available to help you. And I think that the reason it came out with the Two of Cups is because there's somebody about to come into your, and I don't know why I'm getting this word, sphere, um, that is going to be able to sort of alleviate some of this stress here that you might be feeling right now. And because I've seen this Ace of Fire and it just really reminded me of Halloween, um, you know, I'm seeing 
in October, something magnificent is going to happen. And I am seeing that it's going to come in the form of an earth angel. And I'm seeing that some of your reactions could be, well, this person is too good to be true. But you have to believe that if you are a good person and you would do the right thing and help somebody if they needed help, um, that there's other people out there like that, you know? And it's just a real downfall of um, social media and, and stuff like that, that, you know, um, people that are not necessarily the nicest folks going or, you know, criminality is always um, highlighted kind of turns you off to meeting new people and trusting them, but I really just see an earth angel coming in for you. Okay. We'll take these. So we've got the high priestess. So you're really going to have to trust your intuition on this, you know, and the high priestess she's really like saying to me, Somebody wants to come in and help solve an existing problem. Okay, I had a bunch of cards fall out here. So I had the Magician, and then I've also got the Star card. So you're absolutely like coming into a phase in your life where you're going to be divinely protected here. And also I'm getting the word divinely projected. Um, you're, you're going to be like slowly evolving out of this situation where you're in where you may be stressed about money or you're stressed about family or whatever it is that you're stressed out about um, represented here with the nine of air. It's going to start to feel a whole lot lighter and it could be simply because there's somebody coming in that can listen to you, that can really hear what is going on. But I'm, what I'm seeing here with the high priestess is that you're going to be taken down a road that probably wouldn't have been open before um, if it wasn't for this new person coming into your life. And maybe you know them already, but you're going to start getting to the, know them on a different level. You're going to start see start to see different aspects of this person because you have the Two of Cups. And that means like changing your relationship with somebody like maybe you've met somebody in a social media group and you start talking and you really start to connect and then you're going to have like really like sparks fly about what you should do for the next phase of your life here um, with the Ace of Fire. And then you have these two amazing cards. They all sort of flipped out of the deck when I was shuffling. Um, you have the Magician and the Star card. So it's like... This person is going to make you feel like you can perform magic again. You know, it's going to sort of retrofit, retrofit your brain to sort of see. Oh, it's, it's really confusing coming into my head, you guys. Hold on for a second. Like being able to see the same situation with fresh eyes um, and not be so worried about things um, with the nine of air and recognizing that, um, you know, it's not a roadblock, it's a challenge. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a video game where you meet a challenge and you just sort of have to defeat that and then you go up to the next level you'll kind of start to see that that is what life is all about. Um, and you'll keep on getting the same challenge until you successfully defeat it um, or release it, you know, and just to keep on going. And I'm just seeing that sort of, it's gonna click for you that, you know, the reason that this same scenario keeps on playing out is because, um, you know, the lesson hasn't been learned or, you know, the the villain hasn't been defeated or whatever, you know, um, maybe not the best analogy going, but do you know what I mean? 
I've, it's kind of like understanding that the matrix is not a movie it's a documentary you know what I mean and being able to look at things from a different perspective and and basically having eyes opened by either like something you've seen like a movie or um, a video or definitely somebody to help you to start understanding your own brain a little bit better and opening it up for higher opportunities to find you and then being able to remember that you can do anything that it is that you want and you have a deeply deeply wise looking magician here um this is like knowledge of the ages like being able to tap into sort of ancestral intelligence or for some of you being able to release ancestral um i'm getting the word promises um You know, there could be like vows of poverty made by um, your predecessors, your predecessors, your ancestors, being able to understand that things get passed down through the lineage um, on, unto an unsuspecting present generation and being able to release that. Um, and then instead of feeling surrounded by negative thinking with the nine of air, being able to regain this hopeful, um, anticipatory, just really uplifted spirit and knowing that everything starts with you. I'm gonna pull one more. So you've got the queen of fire here, you know, who's the queen of wands. And definitely a really just seeing a really strong energy of somebody shining a light for you here with the queen of wands. You know, she's coming in and just look at her facial expression. It's like you'll be telling her, or it could be a man, it could be a man or a woman, um, and you'll be telling this person about your experiences and they're looking at you like, but I already know this, you know? And I realize that you're coming to a place of deep awakening for yourself and starting to understand things in a way that you never did before. And she's been waiting for you. It is like when the student is ready, the teacher appears and then when the student has learned the lesson, the teacher disappears. So your teacher is coming in. This is somebody that is going to be integral to the next phase of your life. And they will stay with you until you achieve this sort of status here, this all knowing. Um, it's going to be like a knowledge transfer from the queen of wands to the magician and you will inherit this wisdom and be able to, I'm getting the word sort of manipulate the bonds of your ancestors that could be like surrounding you with cords and pulling you in the wrong direction. Um, if you don't know about breaking cords, um, I don't do any videos on them, but there's lots of people that talk about um, breaking ancestral ties. Um, cutting cords, um, you might want to just check that out a little bit because I'm seeing that there's sort of like a rubber band effect for you um, moving forward a little bit and then feeling like you're pulled back, you know, and where did all my progress just go? Um, for some of you, um, I could be this person. I could be the queen of fire for you. It could ignite the next phase of your, your learning. Um, you know, and if this isn't making sense for you right now, you're you're probably just not ready and that's okay, but it might just plant a little bit of a seed for you. And then the next person that starts talking about um, 
how things can trickle down from hundreds of years ago through your genealogy and affect your current reality, um, you'll start to go, oh, okay, you know, and then that that planted seed will start to break open and and, and sprout a little bit um, and really start you on your journey to the mastery of your life. Um, you know, can you dig it um, with the magician? Like this is where you're headed, but your journey, I'm seeing like, you know, I'm getting like 25 to 30%. It's like opening your eyes a little bit in the morning, but they're not quite open because it's too bright. You can't quite look at it yet, you, you know, and being able to fully turn into that and accept that. And, and that's where I'm seeing the nine of air. It, it's more of a misunderstanding than a stress. Like understanding the energy and how to make it work for you. And I see all this coming in for you very soon. The awakening, like an awakening to your power. So um, very interesting reading, you guys. Very um, deep cards, deep messages from these cards. I really hope this was interesting. And if you did connect with it, if it did resonate with you, give me a shout out down below in the comments, you guys. I do respond to everybody because I just, I love you guys so much for being here. And I, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the cards. Let me know what you think in comments. And other than that, I'm going to wrap it up. Peace.